Hey guys, welcome to RK Keynotes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform bibliography analysis using Wasp Viewer software tool. This tool can be used to analyze the bibliometrics and can find the co-occurrences of different authors and uh, uh, the number of occurrences of a keyword, the importance of the keyword published in the research papers. Also, we can analyze the more or most cited paper and also we can analyze which country has contributed more or published more papers on a particular topic and also the journals uh, the top journals can be easily visualized so this has a lot of benefits this particular tool so let's get into this video i'll show you step by step now uh, for analysis i have just taken google scholar and then i have given the keyword of was viewer bibliometric and you can see that there were a number of results Fine. So let me take this paper as a reference uh, for us. Now let me open this paper. And this paper is published in the journal Construction Innovation. This particular journal is in Q1, Q2. And uh, this is published in the year 2023. And the publisher is Emerald. All right. Now the paper is there with us. Interrelations between construction ethics and innovation. Uh, bibliometric analysis using was viewer. So in this paper, they have entirely analyzed all the possibilities using Wasp Viewer. So if I scroll down and you can see, um, they have included different kind of uh, maps, networks. And first they are highlighting the frequency of the terms like ethics and innovation. And then the next part is, uh, they are analyzing the co-authorship, author productivity, and uh, you can see that this is the analysis of uh, different co-authors and this particular author is connected with which particular i mean which author frequently and and all, all those things can be analyzed easily fine and then they have justified it and you can see that top 10 universities which are publishing paper and this and this particular image shows clearly that hong kong polytechnic university is publishing uh, more on this particular topic fine and you can see the rest of the universities are like georgia institute and it, you can see that it is highlighted uh, in bold and you know a huge font and similarly if you scroll down and you can see this is the co-authorship between countries and which country is having more publications uh, on this particular topic means research topic you can see that china and australia and us has got more publications because it is highlighted so this visualization you can easily with this visualization you can easily understand you know the insights of that particular a topic and paper and similarly it goes on so so i would suggest you to go through this paper this is very good paper okay now how to do this for that you will get these kind of beautiful graphs all right uh, if you use was viewer and you can incorporate the same thing in your research paper the first thing is you have to go to wasviewer.com and then you can go to download tab and download it according to your operating system windows mac and other so if you download this, it comes around the 60 MB application and you have to just uh, extract the same. Let me show you this. This is the one downloaded one and you have to just right click and extract all. The moment you extract all, uh, you will get a folder like this and wherein you can see the exe file, right? application file. So let's open this file. And it's very easy to create a particular uh, visualization the maps fine for that first you have to go to uh, create and then you have to use create a map based on bibliometric bibliographic data fine and where you can find analyze all these things fine you can choose these options co-author co-occurrence and other things as well say next basically we use this option read data from bibliographic database file we are going to download it from Scopus or Web of Science or IEEE. This, in this particular video, I'll show you how to download it from Scopus. In the next video, I'll show you how to download it from IEEE and do the analysis. Okay. Now, we don't have the file. So let's go to Scopus database. And uh, you have to go into this particular section and you have to do a login uh, with your institute mail ID so that you will have a subscription. Now, you can see documents, right? So now let me say recommendation system. I'll say movie recommendation system, for example. Fine. And then search. 
Now, the moment you hit search button, you can see a uh, lot many documents. And according to your requirements, you can filter it out. Let me say I want last three years papers, 2022 uh, and 2024, filter it out. And I have 919 documents as of now. If you want to consider all these documents, yes, you can go for it. But I want to just narrow it down. So I want just the open access papers. Let me say gold open access. And I'm, I'm just limiting it so that I will have only 129 papers. Fine. So you can see that. Now, if you want to export all these things, just select all. And then you have to say export here. Fine. So if you do this, you can export it for all papers. Make sure that uh, uh, you have enabled this particular option. Let me say this. So that all the papers will get selected like this. You can see that. Fine. So I have selected all. Now export. And you can see there are different different sort of formats, right? The thing is that you have to go for CSV. Uh, and then you can select all these checkboxes where all these informations will get saved with the CSV file. And then you say export. Fine. If you do so, all the 129 documents, references, citations, author details, the year it is published, and the journal name. Uh, so all these, uh, whether it is uh, open access or what, so all those th uh, informations will get uploaded. Means you will get in the CSV file. Now let me open this file and you can see that um, there are a lot of informations, right? Including the DOI, the, the, the entire paper information you can see, including the keywords and, and, and many such things. Fine, the ISSN number or the DOI and all sort of things. Now let's close this. Now the file name is scopus4.csv. So now go to was viewer and say next after this step. Now we have to select it from Scopus, right? We have downloaded it, it from Scopus database only. So let's click these three dots and uh, go to downloads and get the Scopus 4. Fine, this is the one we have downloaded. All right, now it is a CSV file. Say okay. And then next, now it will read the entire Scopus file. Now here, in that research paper, which I have shown in Google Scholar, they have done for all these options. I'll show you one option so that rest you can try it out. First thing, let's analyze the co-authorship of using authors. And there is organizations also, like which organization, which countries are involved. So all for each of these things, we can generate a different, different, uh, you know, uh, maps. Okay. Now, let me remove this. I want to include all the documents. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm not setting the limit uh, of authors. So that's what this particular option says. So say next. And minimum number of documents of an author. Let me keep it as one only. Fine. So that is up to you. Again, say next. And uh, number of authors to be selected. So out of the 129 papers, we have 449 authors. Fine. So say next. And then you can see that number of citations based on each author. And then the strength has been analyzed by this. Now let's say finish and you have to say yes and it will run the cluster for us and then you can see uh, these are all the uh, authors and if you if you just place it on a particular author it will highlight only that particular author relationship with uh, relationship with uh, with other co-authors fine and maybe if you click on here I mean if you just place your cursor on that particular this particular author and it highlights only how he has related with others and similarly we have this overlay visualization uh, according to the year and you can see that yellow starts from 2023 and 2022 and you have the rest of the years and this is the density graph which shows that this particular author is having more impact with others fine so you can create it for different uh, purposes now if you, you now what you can do is that if you want to save this you can take a screenshot and it will get saved um, demo one let me just save it in desktop and it is a png file and you can see that over here yeah here it is so it, this is a png file which is just saved and uh, similarly you can create graphs for different purposes let me create one more and use the same file i'm reading it from the databases i'm using the same file now you can you can change it to organizations or countries let's see for the countries ignore documents let me remove this and 
minimum number of documents per country let me keep it as one only and or let me say two for for now and total number of countries involved that is 20 and finish and you will get a network for the uh, this particular country and you can see that here india is contributing more and similarly china even and how it is connected china is contributing with india and south korea and malaysia and united states similarly you can see that these indian authors have been contributed with other so this gives you these kind of insights all right and here you can see that this is the density graph again you can save it as a uh, screenshot if you wish and there are other uh, parameters like you know you, you can scale it let me put it in this way and you can change the frames like this or circles or whatever you prefer and size variation you can go along with this colors and you can play with these properties fine so now in in the left hand side you can see items here all here these are the clusters which has created you can see number of clusters even in, in some research papers they are including the clusters details as well and it will be uh, useful for us to do so and there are other few uh, properties where you can play with uh, you can check with these properties as well now this is the entire um, steps uh, to create a map to visualize using was viewer i hope that you got uh, some understanding like how to download it from the scopus database means how to download the bibliography information and then how to import it into the was viewer and how to create a visualize visualization uh, using the scopus csv file so in the next video i'll be showing you how to download it from ieee and of course we have different format and um, so that you can understand that even so if you have any queries please let me know in the comment section uh, i'm there to help you out if you like the video hit the like button uh, please subscribe my channel do share with your friends thank you and thanks for watching this video